Welcome back. It is still Passover, so let's whip up another Passover treat. I was thinking today we could do some latkes, um, so we'll need some potatoes, some onions, the box grater. Just kidding. I've got a really good hack. Let's do it. All right, so my grandma used to say, as she was grating the potatoes on the box grater, that you need a little blood in it to make it kosher. <laughs> no. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> go to the frozen food section of your grocery store, seek out hash browns. They did the grating for you. And there's nothing in this but potatoes and something to keep it from turning funny colors. So, I've got one big bag of it. You can use any brand, pretty much. I, I haven't found a brand that doesn't work. I'm using store brand from right up the street. I've used Orita before. I've used other store brands. Just, ta-da, there's our potatoes. We didn't have to box grate them. We didn't have to drain them. We didn't have to run them through the food processor. On the other hand, the onions totally went through the food processor. These guys are mean. They make me cry. I'm not into that. Let's just throw them in a machine and get them where we want them. All right, onions. This is two medium onions going in here. I'm gonna warn you straight up, I'm not measuring this stuff. I do it all by texture. I'll try and approximate for you how much of what I'm putting in here. Um, so we're gonna start with our potatoes and our two medium onions. I will say one thing about the store brand, occasionally there are these larger pieces. Don't worry about them, they won't hurt any. And eggs, let's pop a couple of eggs in here. So we're gonna start with two eggs. One. And two. Everybody in. Put these over here for the compost. All right, next to this mixture, we are going to add two very big pinches of salt. Um, they're gonna be about a tablespoon each, I would say. It's a fair amount of potatoes in here. So let's get them where we want them. So it's two big fat pinches, so roughly two tablespoons. We're also going to add one goodly pinch, make it two goodly pinches of Bell's poultry seasoning. So probably two teaspoons. And then we're gonna add, as always, a whole bunch of freshly ground pepper. It's probably a couple of teaspoons. Um, I just grind until my hands get tired and it looks like there's some stuff happening here. All right, so let me get this closer so you can see what's going on. I have all my spices in there my onions, my potatoes, salt and pepper, and bell seasoning, and a couple of eggs. So, I'm just gonna get in here with my hands and mix it all up. Really is the best way to distribute this stuff. Okay. So, Wet and eggy. Now we're gonna add something to hold it all together, our binding agent. I'm gonna use what'll probably wind up being about a half to three quarters of a cup of matzo meal. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm becoming this woman who doesn't measure things. Yeah, it's gonna be more like three quarters of a cup. You can go as high as a cup if you want to, they just will be a little more starchy. Uh, but the main thing we want is for this all to hold together. So we're gonna mix this up. You can see it's already starting to thicken on me. We're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for a half hour and get nice and thick. And then when we come back, we'll be able to form it into patties and put it in the oil. All right, so welcome back. Our latkes are almost done with their rest in the refrigerator. And I'm putting about a half inch of canola oil into the pan. And we're going to heat that up and get it ready to receive our lapkas.
I've also got the oven warming up. I've got it set to 300 and we're going to put our latkes, once they have drained on paper towels, right into the oven and then everybody can have a warm latke. Okay, so the latkes are, well, they're not latkes yet, but they will be soon. They're out of the fridge, they've rested, and you can see this holds together really, really well. And we're gonna form them into little patties. I'd say they're about a half inch thick. About a half inch thick like that. I'm gonna set up a handful of these little latke patties and set them to the side of the bowl so that when the oil is heated up, we can just add them right on in. We are sizzling away. We're gonna leave them undisturbed. Let them get nice and brown before we flip them over. Okay, so our first batch is simmering away over there, and now we're gonna do the second batch a little bit differently. I have chopped up some jalapeno pepper and some green onions. It looks like there's about a half cup, maybe a little more than a half cup of each. And I'm gonna put them right into our rusted mixture and give them a good turn so everything gets all over the place in there. We've got green onions and we've got jalapenos throughout. These will be so nice, topped with a little bit of sour cream. Oh my goodness, just don't applesauce this nonsense. This is not meant for applesauce. Okay, so you can see these beautiful crispy edges coming together. And those are gonna let us know it is time to flip that stuff over. All right, so let's flip these guys over. Look at that beautiful golden brown. Okay, we flipped everybody over. You can see what beautiful golden brown color they are now. Okay, so once the plain latkes, the traditional latkes, are off the stove, we'll start adding these in and we'll try them side by side. It's gonna be great. While our second batch is finishing up, we're gonna get these guys into the oven and keep them nice and warm. This is the part where you find either the coolest kid in the household or whoever you love best and you let them taste test it. What about your grand chickens? I gotta go see my grand chickens. Hello. You haven't met the grand chickens. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, excellent. All right, let me get in here. Let me get in here. Oh, these look Okay, so, so the latkes are ready, and I have some of my favoriteest people. This is my mom and my auntie, and they're here to test drive these latkes. And so we've got the traditional on the right, and some lovely applesauce from September's Canning with it. And then on the left, we have the jalapeno and green onion ones. Oh, my heavens. And I've got a little bit of sour cream here, if anybody would like. That um, sounds like so... it would go great with those. Yeah, get in there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they're kosher for Passover. Oh, oh fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Got to try these. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. Mm -mm. What do you think? Delicious. Oh, mm. fantastic. Is that what cream at? But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's taste not... tested and mother approved, and we'll see you soon. Take oh. care. Bye bye. bye. Oh, perfect. Mm, These thank are really you. good. Thanks. All right, come on in. Come on into the shot. A little bit more over, guys. No, go ahead. Phil, you want in on this? Okay. Okay. Hello, we have made latkes.